Okay, so this is gonna be a weird, a weird and shameful video. Uh, I had played this map a while ago, like a while ago, with saves. And uh, with saves, it's not a big deal. It just really isn't. Um, you can kind of obviously break it up into maybe three manageable pieces. You hit the first four buttons, save, hit the next three buttons, save. And uh, it's just not that hard to kind of brute force your way through it. But doing it all in one sitting is just <laughs> brutal difficult. It's really, really high stakes and crazy, as you can see. And uh, A1s and Encaligon were kind of going back and forth, pushing the world record for this down, uh, for the time on it. And I have no interest in doing that, but they were just making it look like so much fun. And then uh, Brendondle put out a run of it, and then Vile was working on it too. And I thought, okay, I wanna, I wanna join in the fun here. But I don't have time to sit down and practice the map. I'm not gonna path it out. I don't wanna do the hard work. <laughs> so I just watched A1's video on it, uh, where he beats it in like eight minutes or something. It's just ridiculous. And I watched that once and I thought, okay, I, I think I get the general idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. So I just jumped in and started trying to, uh, to get a clear on the map. And I had my buddy uh, in a call with me and uh, it just wasn't going well. I realized that I didn't understand the end of the map. The way that A1s does it uh, when you get to the final fight uh, and preceding it with these archfile spawns, it's just chaos in the center. Everything's infighting. So you can't actually tell what's going on. But if you clear it out, which is what I do here, it's just a completely different situation you're in where these archfile groups spawn in three at a time. And it's just really difficult, you'll see. Um, so I was just I was just getting murdered by that constantly because I didn't understand what was happening. So I decided that I'd spend just a hundred attempts trying to do it without knowing what I'm doing <laughs> before I memorized where those Archvile spawns were. And if I couldn't figure it out in a hundred attempts, then I would sit down and do the hard work of, of learning where they all spawn and, and practicing that once or twice. And, uh, yeah, so I obviously didn't, in the first hundred tries, uh, get the exit. I just, I was, it just gets out of control so fast with these archfiles spawning in. If you don't know where they're coming in, you're in huge danger. So I, <laughs> I decided to practice that, path it out, figure out where they're coming in, come up with a strategy, and then, uh, give it a try afterward. I like diving these archfiles here, by the way, this is super fun. Just, oh, the satisfaction. Uh, but I make a huge mistake when we get to that part, and I'll point it out. Overall, I'm just kind of playing very sloppily here anyway, but... Yeah, we ended up getting the clear. Um, after practicing, this is my 29th attempt. And I'm not going to say I'm happy with how the demo turned out, but... I, I beat it without saves. I'm happy with that, and I really don't want to sit down and grind out the minutia of it. But yeah, it's a funny thing. The The first third of the map is super polished in the approach to it. But then the second third and the third third are just this wishy-washy winging it scenario because you just end up dying the most at the beginning of the map. So that's where you get the most accidental practice in because you just have to keep doing it. But yeah, we're just gonna clean up these cyber demons here. You're gonna see some indecision here where I just, I don't, again, I don't have a plan. I'm trying to remember as best I can what I saw A1s do in his video. And so there, I was I was thinking, you know, do I loop around again? And I decide to hit that button and summon these five arch files before I clean up the cyber demons. And this is a mistake. Uh, because here I'm, I'm playing sloppy, and then I want to get a good line on these arch files. I come right back in, boom, 1% health from the rocket crossfire that I just had no business standing in between. So definitely, I had no reason to not just clear out these cyber demons before I did that, and then there'd be nothing to worry about. But I don't know, I just was plagued by indecision this whole run. And you'll see some more again later. But this is the big crucial moment. Once I take these guys down, 
we're gonna start this um, little combat puzzle where these trios of archviles come in uh, one at a time in here. So 515 I hit the switch and I should have remembered that but I didn't. <laughs> it's so crucial that you remember when you hit that switch and I didn't even I didn't even keep track. It's, it's not that I forgot, I just didn't even take note of when I hit it. And because two minutes and 15 seconds after you hit that switch, six arch vials spawn in at one end, and then all those dormant guys against that wall, if you can see them on the right there, there's something like 10 or 12 of them, they all come into the arena as well. So if you're not waiting for them and lined up to take them out, you're in huge danger. So you want to remember when that is, but I didn't. So here I am just running around trying to remember with my goldfish memory <laughs> where these arch files are coming in from. I, th I think I get it, but I forget a couple. So there I was going the wrong way. It's like, oh, these guys are over here. But luckily we salvaged that. And I'm trying to remember, are these guys down on this side? And they are. And I end up staying mostly on top of it here until I just lose track of that. What did I say? 7.30? 7.30, the, uh, the shit's gonna hit the fan and I'm not gonna be where I need to be. And it's gonna be bad news. But it's pretty, it's a pretty chill part if you remember where they all are. But also my technique here is pretty bad. That one's not, that one's not bad. But I'm just, when I rush the groups of them from far away, I definitely stand too close. You've got this muscle memory, right, where you want to just point blank something with the BFG. But when you rush the trio, they can spread out. And if you try to get close to one, then you won't hit them all. So it's better to just pre-fire the BFG when you're coming in from a distance a ton of times. And then stop shorter than you think you need to, so you hit all three of them with just spray after spray after spray. And it's not going to be a problem. So here's where I'm going to forget. So in the next spawn is going to be the six at the end. That was sloppy too, right after these guys. And you'll see me here go to the other end where there would be a vile spawn if there were another one, but there isn't. And on the left here, you see those guys running in and I go, oh no, I just threw the whole run. It's over. There's so, they're resing too much stuff. I'm thinking of this, I'm just backing off to try and get this mega sphere and some ammo. But at this point, I just, I don't feel confident that I have this anymore. So I'm running down, I decided to just be really, really aggressive, and I'm just going to focus down as many of these arch files as possible, because they're not supposed to be alive, without going anywhere near the other side, where those 10 or 12 or whatever came in. And now the final fight started. A bunch more stuff spawns in, tons of revs and cacos, and I just don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I know there's a point where A1 goes over to where all these cells are on the left and starts U-strafing, all these revenants, but I don't know when I'm supposed to do that, at what point, so I'm running around just trying to kill some pain elementals before I do, and I have terrible movement and pathing there. And then I come back, and it still doesn't look like I should be doing it, but maybe I should have started the use strafe. So I come in, I'm killing some cacos, pretty bad movement again. I get lucky that I didn't get hit there. And now this feels like use strafe time on all these revs. But I make a mistake here too. I'm spreading out, see how, how straight I am? I'm kind of looking at just forward as I shoot these shots. And so I'm spreading all the damage out evenly over the crowd and that's not what I want because it's letting the center swell in on me and take way too much of my space away. So what I definitely should have been doing is on the right side looking far more left and on the left side looking far more right, which I start doing now. You can see me trying to focus down the center because I'm thinking, oh no, this is over. And I run out of room to even dodge that Megasphere, so we've got to get out. But uh, we're able to make it through the Pain Elementals. And then we just run over here. And it's just mostly me trying to remember what I saw other people do in their demos kind of what the little checkpoint accomplishments are that you need to make. But it's just, we're winging it. And here I thought, ah, can I circle strafe this yet? But then I, or can I use strafe it again? Uh, and then I chicken out and just run back out. Cause I say, hey, I've got the space to circle strafe, so why not? And then I figure I should take out these arch files, but this might actually be a bad idea cause there's like six in the middle and I had no plan for hiding from them. 
It's just a disaster. This is... I wasn't even going to show this. It's so bad. But then I thought, if you want to see this map done properly, quickly, or elegantly, you know, you can watch A1s, or you can watch Kinetic uh, just kick this map's ass. So I thought, we have enough of that. Uh, let's watch me <laughs> fumble my way through it, <laughs> trying to remember the order of events and what I'm supposed to be doing. And uh, we ended up getting it. It didn't take too long. So I might sit down again with more practice and, and try and get a cleaner demo. I don't want to guarantee anything. Because it is a really fun map. But... Yeah, I just... I don't have a lot of time. As you can tell from all the, uh, the complete dearth of uploads that we've been uh, enjoying lately. Just not putting much stuff out. I've just been way too busy with work and, you know, your average day-to-day -day life stuff. So I didn't, I wanted to do this this weekend. I wanted to sit down on, on a Saturday and, and finish this map. But I, uh, I don't know. It's like a sunk cost fallacy, right? You don't want to spend the time practicing because you're thinking I don't have time, but I would have beaten it way, way more quickly in fewer attempts if I had have just taken the time to practice at first. There's probably a good deal of luck here. And look at this indecision. I, I want to go down and kill these Arch Vials. But before I kind of shot just a few BFGs and then backed off completely. And then that time I, I dive in a little bit. Dive, pardon me, and then chicken out again and back out. And I'm just... I'm scared I'm going to lose it. And then this is... So we've got... There's 15... You start with a Megasphere and then there are 15 more in the map. And I used every single one, which I don't think is normal. I mean, you're happy they're there, but when I watch other people do nice, very impressive runs of this map, I don't see I don't see them needing every Mega Sphere. So I don't know. Add that to the shame list, I guess. And then here, let's just eat a rocket for no reason. I don't even think that was the pressure getting to me or the panic. I think I just brain farted and and took it. And so now I'm trying to pull them out a little bit so they're not as in the center where all those little rock walls are, so I can circle strafe them, but I didn't get them all out. And now I'm getting impatient. So we just try to, you know, spray these guys down for the cleanup before we go for the big finish. So I don't know how interesting that is to watch, but... Anyway, so thanks, thanks A1s, uh, aka David, for uh, putting up a great playthrough that I tried to rob the strategies from and then just ended up not not robbing them at all. <laughs> they just weren't working for me and I couldn't figure them out. Um, you should go watch David's video, actually. I'll, I'll link it in the description. And you'll see at the beginning, he grabs that invuln and he runs and takes out both packs of arch vials on either side of the map, which is crazy. I just couldn't get that to consistently work at all. It's way faster. It's a smart thing to do if you're speed running, but I couldn't end up doing it. So I take the invul and take out the one pack of arch files, and then I just run to the other side, and I just try to get as deep as I can before I loop back, so I can start circle strafing, and it's just really amateur stuff. Also, I can't believe that arch file could see me there, and he got another hit in. But there it is. 